I'm Dan Hedges from engineering.com here at the USA Science and Engineering Festival and I'm joined by my guest, Geek Dad, Ken Denmead. Mr. Denmead, thank you for being here. Ah, it's great to be here. This is such an amazing festival. I've had a great time. Yeah. Uh, actually, let's start out with what was your favorite part of the festival? A uh, couple of things. Uh, I, I totally loved and I can't remember which group it was. Uh, somebody built a pit of cornstarch and water letting the kids walk, you know, walk across, race across the non-Newtonian solid. So, you know, you can dip into it slowly and it oozes and whatever. And then the kids can just run right across the surface. It was, there were so many kids having so much, and adults having a ton of fun with that. Just, it's, it's an amazing experience. Okay. Now, as the geek dad, uh, what is a geek? Okay. What? I generally joke that it's, you know, if you have ever suffered social detriment because of the things that you're passionate about, you're a geek. Suffering social detriment. So why do you encourage that in your kids? Why do you want your kids to suffer social detriment? Well, if everybody's suffering it, then everybody's equal. Isn't it? No, I mean, <laughs> things have gotten better over the years. You know, I, I, when I was in school, I was a little bit nerdy, a little bit geeky. And, you know, I, I use those terms relatively interchangeably. People would probably argue you know, nerd is this, geek is that. I, I don't care that much. You know, that, that divides, that doesn't bring us together. But, um, you know, it, it's gotten, obviously there's, there's this whole concept that the geeks have won now. The geeks are in, pop culture is sort of circling around geek culture right now, which is wonderful. So, um, I, don't, I want my kids to be passionate about stuff. I want them to discover at as young an age as possible what really excites them in life because that's going to be the thing that they carry with them all through their lives. Hopefully that's going to be a thing that they can get really, really good at at a very young age and excel at in their professional lives so that, so that work isn't work. It's, I'm going to work. I'm going to go do the thing I love and have a wonderful living out of it. And if, it's, if finding your passion, finding something that you're passionate about uh, is what be being a geek is all about. It strikes me that there's a lot of ways now that there haven't been in the past to really learn more about whatever it is you're passionate about. Whether well, there's podcasts, there's Wikipedia, there's is now a good time to be a geek. It, it absolutely is, and I think that's probably why we're seeing this, you know, this huge explosion of of geek being cool is because everybody's now realizing, you know, we there are resources to find what we love out there. And more importantly, there are resources to connect with the other people that love those things. So you love crocheting amigurumi figures of Doctor Who. There's a community, I guarantee you, there is a blog called amigurumidoctorwho.com somewhere, and you can go find those people and connect with them and, and find the support you need, maybe if you're not getting it in your community, but you're, you're still gonna find those people. and so. Almost anything is possible, and uh, you know what? If it's not out there, then you can start it. You can be the magnet and, and bring those people to you. It, it, it's wonderful, because now no kid you know, growing up needs to feel alone about loving I don't know, Dungeons and Dragons or reading old Star Trek novels or anything, because the people are out there. You can find the supportive communities to, to you know, make friends and, and keep going. So if there's one lesson to take away here, it's go squat on origami Doctor Who figurines .com. Is that right? <laughs> that would work. Did I get it right? That would work, Something yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, Ken Denmead. We have more videos on, uh, on engineering.com from the USA Science and Engineering Festival.